Let's make a section drawing from this building. This technique can also be used for making floor plans. I'll start by hiding a few layers. This will make it easier to select just the building geometry. I switch to the top view and run the section command. Then select the geometry to be used for the section. And finally mark the start and end point for the section. This is a quick and easy way to make sections, but you have little control of the exact position of the section. Say I want to make a section that is parallel to the facade, then I can create a guideline for the section. I'll make a new layer, name it Section Guide, and make it the default layer. Now I'll draw a line on top of the facade. If you toggle on the project snap, the snapping points in 3D will be projected to a 2D plane. Select the guide and position it where you want the section to be. I'll use this position so my section goes through the stairwell. Now repeat the section command. Select all the geometry except for the section guide. If you hold the control key and click the line, it will be deselected. Make sure the extend section is set to yes. Then draw your section using the start and end point of the section guide. Press enter and the section is made. Because the guideline was drawn on top of the facade, the section is now parallel to the facade. Sections can also be made using clipping planes. The clipping plane is available from the display panel. Click the triangle below the gray sphere and select the clipping plane icon. Or just write clipping plane. Select the three point option. Make sure project is toggled off. Now you can select points on the facade to make a clipping plane. Select the clipping plane and use the move command to push the clipping plane through the building. You can flip the orientation of the clipping plane from the properties panel. Here you can also decide the views that will be affected by the clipping plane. With the clipping plane established, you can easily make a section. Just use the clipping plane as a guideline and make sure the extend section option is on. For a more elaborate section, you can use the make 2D command in connection with the clipping plane. In order to do so, you must first establish a construction plane that is parallel to the clipping plane. Use the C plane command. Select the three point option. Use the corners of the clipping plane for reference. Select the lower left corner for the origin, then the lower right corner to define the x axis, and finally the top left corner for the orientation. A construction plane parallel to the clipping plane is created. Change the view to plan. I'll just switch on the people layer to add scale. Now use the make 2D command to create a 2D drawing of your viewport. Select all objects using Ctrl and A. By selecting current view in the pop-up window, the drawing will be placed in the top view. By selecting current C plane, the drawing will be placed in the plan view. That's the view we are looking at right now. I'll stick to the current view, then click OK. If you zoom out, you will see the 2D drawing. Move the drawing closer to the 3D model. This drawing contains both the section and the background. Now you're ready for adding hatches and line thickness.